We greet you, children of light. We bring you peace and balance in your hour of need. We bring the light of Sirius, sharing the wisdom of the Father, so that you may also see more clearly with each passing day. The light of the One Sun shines above all, illuminating the minds of all children more and more with each passing day. Look not on the surface of things, for you will see only chaos and confusion. The masters of the great illusion are spinning the web of control as tightly as they can before it finally falls apart. But the tighter they squeeze, the more will slip, and ultimately there will be nothing left to hold up the structure of this web. All is forced to come to the surface, for the shift that is occurring is pushing everything towards the higher dimensions. In order to be able to move into the higher density, one must first let go of everything that is keeping them down in the lower dimensions. Earth has been manipulated by beings that inhabit the lower astral. They've cast the veil of illusions that blinded the children of Gaia, trying to stop them from reaching the light of the sun. There are many souls present in the collective who have cracked the web of illusions, and thus they have started a chain reaction that have deteriorated the structure of control throughout the ages. As the structures of illusion deteriorated, it allowed more of you to come in to share your light with all children of Gaia, creating a snowball effect that will ultimately ensure the total collapse of the old structure of control. Know that the need for control arises from the illusion called fear. Fear of not having enough. Fear of not being safe. Though slowly but surely, all of these ways of thinking are being challenged, for it no longer serves you. You have explored these lower density expressions for thousands of years, and now that you're moving forward into the higher dimensions, the beings who held up these structures of illusions are being evicted from the realm that you call Earth, for they have fulfilled their mission. Everything that is based on illusions shall pass, for it has no substance. It is merely a fleeting thought in your journey towards freedom. All beings here, incarnate or disincarnate, are playing a role in the grand play of planet Earth. Now that a chapter in the great play is ending, all are being asked to renounce the previously played roles and to realize their true nature. Many beings have become so attached to the character that they have been playing that they have completely lost their identity of self. They have came to believe that this is all they are, and now that we are at the end of a chapter, they do not wish to let go of the persona that they have been portraying for so long. This is the end of the ego persona. The part of you that allowed you to navigate the realm of illusions is being asked to step aside and to give room to the higher mind, the aspect of you that transcends all. For most of you, this is a natural shift, stepping into your true potential as a divine being incarnate on Earth. But there is a portion of your race that are not ready to make this jump, which is perfectly all right. There are no right or wrong answers here, for Earth is the realm of density, where you can explore the greatest depths of darkness if you wish. But now that this realm is moving into the higher dimensions, the opportunity for such experimentation is rapidly closing. All beings who have invested their entire existence in perpetuating such activities are being asked to leave, to continue their exploration somewhere else. Know that the interfering forces have been removed from your realm. The chaos that you witness is brought about by servants who have lost all connection to their masters. They are fulfilling their programming, for they have invested their entire being in maintaining an artificial construct that is alien to the organic life of Gaia. There are still the ones who are artificial beings in human form, but the majority here are flesh and blood humans with an infinite spark in them beings who have lost their connection to their true identity, and since they no longer know who they are, they're holding on to the well-practiced programming that they have been brought up with. This is something that you will have to sort out on your own. The only thing that we can do is offer you our assistance and guidance. But fear not, for there are beings on your earth who have incarnated among you to reinstate balance and divine order for all life. There is assistance and guidance on all planes, 
for God will not allow Gaia's children to fall. Think of all the adversity and horrors that humanity had to endure across the ages. It would not have been possible for you to be here if the Father did not want humanity to survive and flourish. The time of survival is at its end, for the time has come for humanity to step into its full potential and become the flowers of light that shall spread across the cosmos, fulfilling the wishes of the Father, holding the light and spreading the words of freedom to all. We greet you with the light of the All-Father. Be at peace.